you flush your toilet and you go away and um, three minutes later you hear water running again, um, something is wrong with your flapper valve inside. The first thing you want to do is open up your toilet tank to look inside. Uh, you just, you got to make a visual assessment of what's going on with your flapper valve. And what is going on is the flapper valve itself is just simply not settling correctly on the hole in the bottom of the tank which allows the water to travel from the toilet tank into the toilet bowl. Uh, in which case you need to just simply replace the flapper valve. Uh, how you install a flapper valve is these two arms right here will mount onto the standpipe inside the tank and that's this point right here is where it hinges on when you, uh, when you flush your toilet. You're just gonna take it one out and swap it out for the other. It's real simple to do. This is all soft uh, plastic or soft rubber. You got your little ears on your standpipe right here. So you just take one side and you get it on the ear, take the other side, put it on the ear like that, and now your flapper valve is gonna sit correctly on the uh, drain from the toilet tank. Okay, this is your chain for adjusting how much movement is in your flapper valve. As you can see, it's got different holes all through it so that um, you can make it shorter or longer. So we've got our, our flapper valve installed. Basically, the only way to make sure you did it right is to test your toilet. So go ahead and flush it a couple times and just see how that toilet behaves. Um, this one is working correctly. If you flush it and uh, it doesn't, doesn't flush at all or your flapper valve gets stuck too high, then you wait for that toilet tank to fill back up, adjust the length of your chain a little bit, and once your tank is filled up, go ahead and you flush it again, see how the toilet behaves. Keep adjusting the length of that chain, either longer or shorter, until you get a flush that is gonna do what you need it to do.